3.7.07. Due south of Tucson, Arizona, one of the most treacherous stretches of the U.S.-Mexico border. 262 miles of hot, dry, often mountainous terrain. And yet, more and more migrants are still coming north. Encounters in this sector are up more than 150% from last year. Detections by the Border Patrol's drones monitoring the area from up high have tripled. And migrants and smugglers are using new military-style tactics to avoid capture. We joined agents from the U.S. Border Patrol Tucson sector on operations tracking and apprehending migrants from Mexico, Central and South America. It is a challenging, highly technical and sometimes dangerous effort, encompassing helicopter patrols, unmanned aerial surveillance, and Border Patrol agents on foot, ATVs, and horseback. Our chopper, piloted by Agent Alexis Clark, gets a radio alert of migrants spotted attempting to cross a rocky ridge line several thousand feet high. On foot, agents track the group searching for signs of disturbed ground. In the sky, our pilot circles the area to spot them from above. A group of two uh, under a tree from the air is, it, it's tough. So, you know, we have to look for that variation in clothing, a foot sticking out, some movement, uh, just a good eye from an air crew who just spot something that doesn't look right. Within minutes, success. Agents discover a group of five men hiding under a tree and detain them. One of the biggest challenges in terms of policing patrolling this part of the border is that the migrants coming here, they don't want to be caught. They're, they're not giving themselves up to get into the legal system in the U.S. They're, they're trying to cross on their own, avoid border patrol along the way. So lots of times when they're spotted, they don't give themselves up, they run. And that makes the job of Border Patrol agents that much tougher. These are not families and unaccompanied children. Border Patrol says 85% who cross here are single adults, some with criminal records. The crossings now resemble military operations. Migrants wear camouflage, boots made from carpet to obscure their footsteps, and crucially, come across in multiple small groups dropped along the border and told to enter at different times to outwit and overwhelm the Border Patrol. What they're doing is we call it swarming. So instead of in years gone by where we'd have a group of 20, a group of 30 crossing the border, currently we see two groups or 10 groups of two. And so what happens is they split up, they cross the border, and it takes two agents or one agent to address each one of those individual groups. So we become task saturated. Why the surge now? Many migrants believe falsely that U.S. law changed with the new administration. The laws for immigration have not changed, so our job has not changed, so we're still enforcing the same laws that we've been enforcing for many years. Construction of new border wall, including the 137 miles built in this sector, has been halted, leaving wide gaps like this one. This is part of the new border wall. It's 30 feet high, made out of steel, and this is the kind of barrier it replaced in a lot of sections of the border here, something just about waist high, meant to stop cars, not people, easy to get right under it. So what's happened in sections like this that are incomplete is they become new transit points. And you can tell that because the barbed wire here bent up from the bottom so you can crawl under it. Lots of footprints showing lots of foot traffic. But we're also told that smugglers, they've even built a road here for better access to this entry point, make it even easier to cross. So the bulk of the work remains with agents, making capture operations like this one the Border Patrol's primary mission. Just walking towards the way. The total count I have so far is three confirmed on the images. Underway 24 hours a day, seven days a week. No break for weather or nightfall. Let me go this way. We followed agents on a ground patrol after pressure sensors and cameras on a frequently used trail detected multiple migrants. It is a long, exhausting search. Temperatures near 100 degrees. Smugglers familiar with how to use the terrain to avoid detection. I'm walking around here. I don't see how they follow the signs. I mean, that, that takes enormous skill, doesn't it? Particularly because of the carpet booties that they wear. Yep. It takes a special skill to be a lot of practice from Border Patrol agents to be able to master that, you know, and, and it, it takes hours sometimes. And we can track groups for hours, and but hopefully we'll be make, able to make this apprehension. This time, agents lose the trail. 
and air assets move on to another potential sighting. On aerial patrol, once again, we get word that agents may have spotted another group of migrants closer to the border. All right, I'm at your 10 o'clock. And if this is in, which I think it is, they're headed west. This group is proving extremely difficult to find, taking refuge in a dry riverbed to provide cover of trees and vegetation. This familiar tactic turns the agents once again into trackers, searching sand and gravel for footprints. On searches like this one, they have some particularly helpful partners. A Belgian shepherd, one member of the BP's K-9 unit, and agents mounted on horseback, fast and durable in the mountains. After nearly an hour in the air, ascending and descending the ridge line at as low as 20 feet altitude, and hours of painstaking searching by agents on the ground, we got they find their target, seven men in telltale camouflage. This is the new reality, not one, but two surges on the southern border. In Texas, families and children often turning themselves in. And here in Arizona, single adults directed like soldiers, doing all they can to avoid capture and come north.